is a terminal which is linked to the phase shift field. Please connect me to it. There was more than one phase shift field. The Vogus have already excavated and taken several. The damage to the last remaining one here was so severe, it seems they abandoned their excavation of it. I detect phase wavelengths erupting from the damaged parts. Wow, there you go. The first surge was much stronger than the one we had. Holy moly. When you report on the operation, check on the status of the Ironheart detachment. We're still working on the jamming signal, so our comms won't be able to reach all the way out there. Level 70 reactors, that's what I'm talking about. As Yestra's devotion mounting. See, I'm running that. Why does that not show? Seventy two. And that's ah, oh man. That's just better, even though it doesn't have the skill slots that I need. And to be honest, there's no point keeping... I'll keep that at 70, but there's no point keeping this. Um, right, 66. Max shield versus death. Death. Max HP. Descendant modules. So we got Final Wish. Um the shock punch power increase skill concentration chill specialist I thought I got a different one no which one am I looking for I'm looking for death accelerant and skill range mastery No. Okay. And then firing fiesta. When reloading, rounds are not consumed for three seconds. Cool down twenty five seconds. Okay, electric enhancement. What did we get here? Better weapon weight. And dead eye for that. But see, here we are, right? We've we've equipped Naziestra's devotion, but it doesn't it doesn't do it. it doesn't register it somehow. Right, hand cannon. Right, I'm going to keep the 69 for now. Shotgun. We've got a bunch of 69s. Look at that, it's 100k DPS. Shotgun, what the fuck. Let's keep the 69, because I'll need it for weapon transmission. Submachine gun, we got 71s and a 70. Okay, so let's keep the two 71s. Machine gun. They're all 68s, so let's get rid of those. Assault rifle, 66. Tactical rifles, a 70. 
So let's keep that. Scout rifle, 71, so we can get rid of... Yeah, because I just want it for the... Actually, no, scout rifle. I don't have another scout rifle. So I'm not getting rid of that or that. We're going to use those as potential weapon. No sniper rifle. Launcher, 69. And then beam rifle, 66. Because it will consume it. That's the thing. So what do we got? We got heated plasma batteries. We got amorphous pattern. Let's see what that's linked to. Yeah, Swamp Walker. Oh, crap. Uh, that's interesting. Heat plasma battery. So we got some interesting stuff there. See if we can do anything with it. I am going to have to level. I, it, the, it, the level's just not good enough. I, I've lost too much HP. Let's see if we've got enough of the Creeper Shards. Kuiper Shards, hey whatever they're called. What can I help you with? 16k. Right, so 16k. I can't increase any of those. I can increase Tech Specialist. So we've increased tech special as much as we can. And then weapon wise. Can't do that. Round per mag and firearm crit rate. Reload time modifier and weak point damage. Might do that. And that's recoil. So let's do that as well. And that's as much as we can do on that one. And this one. Rounds per mag, can't do it. Let's do that one. Magisters are probably humanity's real hope, don't you think? So there's nothing there that I can... Um, let's research Provision Phase Exchanger and some more of that. Right, we want to boost that up to 71. So, are we going to lose submachine gun? It's going to increase rounds per mag and our firearm attack. And then let's boost this one up to 71. So, let's get rid of that one. And then let's boost this one up to 71, which is this one. And there we go. They've still got their bits, right, which is cool. Cool. Right, let's finish doing the quest stuff. And I might do a couple of defense missions before we wrap the stream up. 
just because I really need the level. It sucks, but it is what it is. I wasn't expecting to have my level reset just before going to Hygos. I, I did the not read. Were explanations confusing again? Descendant, what's the status hard. of the Hagios operation? We haven't received any comms. We were getting worried. What did you say? The recon squad's communication was sent 48 hours ago? That doesn't make any sense. How have the Volgus developed advanced tech warfare capabilities? Run the details by me again, please? All right. So Eamon was excavating a phase shift gate in the hidden ruins, and he discovered that the damaged device emitted quantum waves which acted as jamming signals. Hmm, I see. I understand that he would have taken advantage of such an opportunity. It seems luck is not on our side. If we'd received this report sooner, we could have acted on the information. But, at least we have some useful intel. The story Even and the voice acting is not right great. Time. It's if a shame. If we can find the excavated phase shift gate, we'll still be able to achieve our goal. I'm more concerned with the operation at the White Knight Gulch. It's taking longer to detach the Iron Heart than we expected. At this rate, it may not be completed by the time Corral's fleet arrives. We've already had reports of Vulgus forces appearing near to the Gulch. We're running out of time. I wish there was some way that we could turn things around. We'll just have to do the best we can on both fronts for now. Please continue with the operation. Wait, are, are comms back up? Is this Jay versus Steve's signal? Blair, why are you in the Hagios? Uh, it is you, turret boy. It's nice to hear your voice. Have you eaten? Uh, what, what would happen to me? <laughs> well, it's a long story. There was the, the Volgus forward base and, and these weird cargo trucks. I ran into all sorts of things. While all that was happening, comms were down and the guide was nowhere to be seen. There were a lot of enemies and, and that weird beam of light phenomenon. Everything was nuts. Uh, the gist. Give me the gist. Vulgus base, cargo trucks. Actually, just send your current location. I should hear this in person. <laughs> well, sounds good to me. I'll send you the coordinates. You send me updates on what's been going on at your end. Okay. So we've done we've done two big parts of of Hygos. We've got three left. So that's not bad. Um that's a fire. Fire. And that's a non-attribute. So there's another non-attribute there. Quick freezer. Nerve infiltration. Supply moisture. Battle suit melting rounds. Tactical transport. Yeah, it doesn't show it what these are. Truly deadly cuisine. Found the thing that I'm my transcendent thing that I'm looking for. All right. Defense mission it is. In the time it took me to do that story, I got to like level 15. I did that in less than 15 minutes of this.
Descendant, the Vulgus have targeted a nearby Albion Kuiper storage facility. We thought we were done for the day on this, but we're not. I'm going to have to do a bit tomorrow as well. I'm only going to do two. Two defense missions. I don't... Whatever wave we get to. And we're going to wrap it up. We have been streaming for 11 hours. 42. So be that be t over 12 hours. Oh, the bunny there is doing a good job. We got three bunnies, holy crap. What I need to do is I need to work out the best weapon mods for Albion. Level up Albion like four times, I think. It's got like four levels to it. A recon corps spotted enemy reinforcements. There's no end to them. Bunny using a sniper rifle. Level seventeen.
through it. The recon corps spotted enemy reinforcements. There's no end to them. See the difference in, like, if you just got to come here to level up, it's as simple as that. We picked up signals from multiple enemies. Good luck. Just the way forward. There's no point. You might as well level max level to 40, like, super fast. Nineteen. The thing is, I kind of feel like the levels just don't mean very much. Like it's, yeah. You know, with the levels, the mastery, like the proficiency, like with all the leveling things you've got on here. The level just doesn't feel like it means a lot. Like it, I don't know, it's difficult to explain.
like because you can get it so quick it just feels kind of a bit meaningless like it's just a a means to get your stats up and take three hours because you can do it you know one to forty in about three hours maybe a bit less Like the gun levels, modules, proficiencies all seem a little bit more like valid. Like you actually have to work for it and when you when you get it, it, it feels good. The levels feels just more of a bit of a pointless grind. Maybe it's because I've been leveling all day. And I and I'm to be honest, I'm sure most people are not leveling this way. I'm sure most people are not leveling this way. Maybe it's just because I'm grinding it hard, like got six max levels. doesn't make sense to, to, to grind levels any other way. At least they all want to keep going.
I think where a lot of bunnies are getting the damage is they're running around doing the AoE and they're getting caught by them bombers. Because them bombers, if they bundle on you, like one's fine, but you can get three or four, like. And that can really uh, ruin your day. Okay, rank 22. But see, even like rank 22, what I'm seeing is, is my, um, my health and shield doesn't go up much at all. But when you start, when you get to those higher levels, like the difference is massive. Like it seems to be quite a big jump on those last sort of five levels. Seventeen more levels to go. didn't want to fight just ran away our casualties are mounting oh, what a disaster
to do. He wants to continue. Why not? But I'm not doing another one after this, then. This is it. This is it. How are they dead? They get bombed. Bet they got bombed. We're continuing to identify incoming Volgus. We must hold our defense. This is wave 11, dudes. We can't... We don't need to fall back now. Wave 14 is the fallback. Why are they dying oh, no. so much? Facilities under attack. I think the bunnies are just running into the bombers and you just can't do that. Or they're getting shot to hell. The thing with bunny is bunny is very squishy, right? Bunny is very squishy. Yes, he got Bunny down again, look. Bombers. There's a lot of bombers out there. See, TBK is dead again. Our casualties are mounting. Oh, what a disaster. I'm 
trying, but I'm trying to do two freaking sides at the moment. The bunnies are too squishy to keep doing it like that. They were dying so much. We did do 15 million of damage. Oh well, we got to level 25, 15 levels to go. Fifteen levels to go. Got some more amorphous crap. Carbon crystals. We got a lot of mats, but I don't really use them for much. No. Okay, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it's quarter to midnight. We've been streaming for 12, oh, just over 12 hours. Um, we've, we've done a lot of progression today, right? We've done a lot of progression. We farmed Grave Walker 10 times to use our Amorphous stuff. We've completed two of the High uh, Hagios... Um, uh, areas. We've got three left to go. We've unlocked Fractured Monolith. So we've got Fractured Monolith, Starfall Road, and Forward Base to do. Um, on top of that, we leveled Let me tell you how I Ultimate that. Ajax to 40 and then reset him using the uh, uh, module slot thing back to level 1 and he's back to level 25 we got Lepic to 40 Viesa to 40 and Sharon to 40 so we've done 1, 2, 3 4 characters to 40 and back to 25 again and we still have uh, 8 characters to level to 40 alright still got 8 characters to level to 40 but tomorrow I want to get Ajax to 40 and then I want to progress. Basically, I want to get the Hagios done, Fortress done, and then that's them all done on normal. So I want to get that done before Once Human comes out, because I do want to play some Once Human as well. So I want to get that done, and I want to defeat both of the um, uh, Colossi by then. And then, then we'll level up the other ones, uh, Descendants, see how they are. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, uh, we are chopping the VODs down into easy-to-watch 30-minute sections. So if you didn't catch it or you want to see more, um, do check the YouTube channel out. There's obviously, you know, for the next couple of months, there's going to be a bunch of First Descendant 30-minute videos coming out. So if you want to see the whole playthrough, then uh, do check that. Obviously, there's a lot of farming, a lot of grinding in this game as uh, need be. So it's kind of the story intermixed with that. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and we're going to wrap it up there for the night. So thank you for watching on YouTube and on Twitch, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good evening, and you've been watching The Ghost Owl.